Silverton and the Monday Monday Bash. Very excited. So here we go. Excited, Mr. Hal? See. Ya. Here we are, we've just hit Silverton. Here's the sign. We are getting confident. Look, we pulled off on the side of the road. We didn't even think about getting bogged. And it's only 1300 k's from Canberra. Yeah. <laughs> 1300 long k's. It's a lot of flat. <laughs> So they just check our wristbands yeah. and then they put a cross on your early entry yeah. to make sure that you're not sneaking people in in the car. So we think all this first row are filling up that row and they're just waiting to be parked into their spots and we've been sent the next row and all the people on the other side would probably be the day early. And this is what you do <laughs> as you set up. You get rid of all the tufts. People have rakes, they have hose, they have everything. And you just gotta get rid of it because it's spongy to walk on, see? Everybody's doing it. But we're here for a few days, so it's worth it. If you wonder how tightly squeezed in you are for the Monday Monday Bash, this is us. So if we wanted to get out, we couldn't because there's vans on that side and there's vans on that side. And this is our closest neighbors. And this is supposed to be an access road if an ambulance needs to get through. I'm not sure that it works, but we're right in the middle. So very, very tightly packed in. There's little pegs on the ground and that's what you had to back into. You couldn't be outside that peg with your guide, like, your guide ropes or anything. But of course, like the people in front of us, they were too long. They were sticking on the road, so we've let them come into our spot a little bit. And we're very close. So we've got not very much room between where we decided to set up the camp very close we're grateful for the flag because that's how we find where we are because we can't see each ourselves from any of the access roads not quite what we were expecting we thought it was going to be too too deep and that we would be able to see from the road and we're extremely lucky we're surrounded by nice people and it's been interesting to get to know everybody, but if you are near people that you like, it's tough luck. Well, we've really made it. We're all set up. We've made friends with our neighbours already, and they're all pretty decent people, ready to have a party without going overboard, I would think. They're the toilets near... We've just walked down to the concert area, and look at this. There's no other way to show you, but on the GoPro, it's huge it's going to be great fun so it's funny because there's 
windscreen repairers there there's map people there and there's uh like if you need equipment any floor matting fire pits and stuff food was really good price and good quality nice and fresh we ate at least one meal from the food vans because of the concert times it was tricky to cook at the van the only um, thing that we would do differently next time is take more small change they all took cash and they were all desperate for like dollar coins by the end of the bash but we love the food and we love supporting the people some of them traveled a long way to be there and they deserve Bash's support. I can't play any of the music that was at the bash. I don't have permission for copyright and YouTube will not like me then. Good morning. This is the edge of the camp. And people are already arriving, it's just 6.30. This is the dog area. And down there is all the firewood that's for sale. It's a few hours until the music starts. We've been listening to the rehearsals and it's been like a concert in itself. But they've just opened the gates. When we come through at about 10, people were already lined up to get the best seats. There's a stage that's as far close as they're allowed to be. And they're already, already getting moved back. And people are just flocking in.
Well, this is it. We've been practicing. We're off to do the, the Nutbush bush. City Limits world record attempt with a lot of other people, but it makes sense because otherwise it wouldn't be a world record attempt. All the money goes to the Royal Flying Doctor Service and we're thinking it'll be a bit of fun, hey? See, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody facing the stage and I'm going to face the same direction as you so it's not confusing. So let's start with our feet together. How's it going? Have you dried out? A little bit? Oh yeah, we've got a lot of songs to go yet. Let's go for a drive. You like driving, don't you? I think you all must like driving. It was an incredible night and the rain and the mosh pit and everything just made it even better. Uh, the next day when we had to exit it didn't quite go to plan so I think this video is long enough. I'm gonna put it in the next one. See you on the other side. <laughs>